Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that uh, Glassy is a bar in a city and it serves beers of three brands: Kingfisher, Budweiser, and Carlsberg. Okay, on a particular day, uh, some customers came to the bar and not not all of them drank beers. Okay, but those people who uh, drank beers, they had at least one of these three brands. Okay, and some uh, information is given to us in the form of statements. Right, so uh, if you see this, since there are three kinds of brands, and uh, we see the statements that uh, only only one particular brand or uh, combination of this, so we can obviously make out that it's a question based on Venn diagram. Okay, so let us make a Venn diagram consisting of three sets. So one is uh, Kingfisher, Budweiser, and Carlsberg. Okay, a different kind of KBC. Uh, and uh, then we are given certain statements. The number of customers who drank only Carlsberg was twice the number of customers who drank only Budweiser. So let us say only Budweiser is A. So only Carlsberg will be two times of A. Okay. The number of customers who drank both Carlsberg and Budweiser was 24 more than twice the number of customers who drank only Budweiser and Kingfisher. Okay, so slightly complicated one. We will have to make some uh, uh, equation using this. So let us skip to the next point. The number of customers who drank only Kingfisher and Carlsberg was 28. Only Kingfisher and Carlsberg, this number is 28. Okay, for every three customers who drank only Kingfisher, there was one customer who drank only Carlsberg and Budweiser. So it means that these values are in the ratio 3 ratio 1. Okay, so if three, three people are drinking only Kingfisher, one person will drink only Carlsberg and Budweiser. So that is what is meant by this statement that these are in 3 ratio 1. So if uh, King, only Kingfisher and uh, only Carlsberg and Budweiser, so these are in the ratio 3 ratio 1. So let us say these values are 3B and B respectively. Okay, so this is also done. For every three customers who drank Carlsberg, there was one customer who drank Budweiser and Carlsberg. So again, similar statement given. And last statement also for every three customers who drank Budweiser, there was one customer who drank Kingfisher and Budweiser. Okay, so these statements are given to us. So now let us what is, let's do one thing that let us put these equations. Uh, let us put uh, some variables here C and D. Okay. Now we can formulate equations using these three statements. So this statement says number of customers who drank both Carlsberg and Budweiser. So both Carlsberg and Budweiser is B plus D. Okay. That is 24 more than twice the number of customers who drank only Budweiser and Kingfisher. Only Budweiser and Kingfisher is C. Okay, only Budweiser and Kingfisher is C. So 2C, two times of this plus 24. So that is one equation. Okay. Then this equation says for every three customers who drank Carlsberg, there was one customer who drank Budweiser and Carlsberg. Okay. So if this is this entire portion is 3x. If this entire circle is 3x, uh, Budweiser and Carlsberg is x. So if this big circle is 3x, this small part is x. So that means this remaining part, this remaining part should be 2x. Grand total is 3x. This part is x. So this part will be 2x. So what does it mean that this part is double of this part? Right, 2x is 2 times of x. So we can say that 2a plus 28 is 2 times of b plus d. Okay, so another equation form, we can simplify it 2a plus 28 or we can divide by 2. Okay, so that will make things simple. So that gives us a plus 14 is equal to b plus d. Okay, in the previous equation we had this, so we can replace b plus uh, d by 2c plus 24. So we can say that a is equal to 2c and if we bring this there, so it will be 2c plus 10. So that is the second equation that we will get. Okay, now one more equation we will form using the last statement. For every three customers who drank Budweiser, 
so if this grand total is a multiple of 3 okay there was one customer who drank kingfisher and budweiser so kingfisher and budweiser is one part out of it so like we made in the previous case so <coughs> like we did in this case similarly here we will get that a plus b is a two times of c plus d okay uh, now we can substitute these values okay c plus uh, a plus b is two times of c plus d and uh, we are given 2b uh, b plus d right uh, so we can substitute a is equal to 2c plus 10 here so 2c gets cancelled so we will get b is equal to 2d minus 10 okay so that is another equation that we will get okay now uh, let us take some values let us find out these relations on these. Now, if we put, let us say, if we put C is equal to 0, right? So, B plus D will be 24, A will be 10. So, let us put C equal to 0. What happens if we put C equal to 0? If we put C equal to 0, then A will be 10. Okay. Then, uh, if we put C equal to 0, B plus D will be 24 and b uh, uh, we can get another equation that uh, <coughs> we can also say this that 2d minus b if we formulate this equation this way 2d minus b equal to 10 okay so if we add this we will get 3 times of d is equal to 34 which is not an integer right so c equal to 0 is not possible right because we are getting this equation Right, so uh, uh, what we will do is we will put c equal to 1. So let us try with c equal to 1. If we put c equal to 1, a will be 12. Okay, a is 12. And then we will get uh, b plus d it will be 2c plus 24, right? That is 26. And 2d minus b will be equal to 10. So that gives us that 3d is equal to 36 or d is equal to 12. So d will be 12 and if d is 12 then b is equal to 14. So these are one possible values that we will get of a, b, c and d. Okay. Now uh, uh, that is one value that we will get. So, we, it will have multiple solutions, right? Since we have four variables and we have just three equations, there will be multiple solutions available. Now, let us see the questions and uh, then answer accordingly. First question asks, what can be the minimum number of customers who visited the bar on Friday? So, we tried this with minimum possible number of uh, values of A, B, C, D. Okay, because we started with the smallest possible value of C, that is 1. Okay, so obviously all these values are minimum. So let us just find out uh, the equation that we will get for this. So this is A plus 2A, 3A plus this is 4B plus C plus D plus 28. So this is the number of customers that will visit the bar. Okay, so if we put the minimum values that are given to us, using these so a is 12 so this will be 36 b is 14 so 14 into 4 is 56 c and d that is 1 plus 12 13 and this is 28 right so just add this this gives us 92 105 133 so minimum number of customers will come as 133 okay now the second question asked is if 250 customers visited the bar on friday what could be the minimum number of customers who did not drink any of the three beers okay so this is the the number of people that we are getting here is the number of people who drank beer okay so these are people who drank beer so suppose these are the people who do not drink any beer okay so let us say this is n number of people who do not drink any beer so this complete set including this and plus n 
right? This plus n is 250. Now, if we have to find the minimum value of n, right? If n is minimum, then this portion should be maximum. So how to maximize this? Let us find the next possible value of c. I mean, all these variables. So if we put c is equal to 2, so if we put c equal to 2, so in this case, we will get 38. Okay, that is not divisible by 3. If we put c is equal to 3, okay, we will get 40. Uh, if you put c equal to 3, in this, this equation will be 40. If you put c equal to 4, okay, if we put c equal to 4, this will be uh, 20, 32, 32 plus 10, 42. So then d will be coming as 14. Okay, if you put c is equal to 2, uh, c equal to 4, d will come as 14 and a will come as 18 and you can solve for b also. So b will be, uh, b is 2d minus 10. So 2d is 28 minus 10, 18. So next value we will get at this. Okay, so now let us put this value and see, see in this the total was 133. Now let us find the increase. So 3a plus 4b, that is 7 times of 18, 126. Uh, 126 plus 18, 144, 172. So if you put this, we will get 172. Then we can make c is equal to 7. c will increase in multiples of 3. Okay, because we have to from this, uh, if you put c, we can, we, this was the constant, right? So a anyway will get as integer, but d is not coming as an integer. So next we will put c is equal to 7. Uh, and if you put c is equal to 7, we will get, uh, uh, this uh, will be uh, b plus d will be equal to 38, 38 plus 10 is uh, 48, 16. So d will be 16. Okay. So d is 16 and then uh, b will be uh, 32 minus 10, 22. And a will be 2c plus 10, that is 14 plus 10, 24. Right. So basically what, see, these are linear equations, right? So if C is increasing by 2, uh, C is increasing by 3, D will increase by 2, B will increase by 4, A will increase by 6 and total will increase by, we will see this, that total will increase by 39. So let us put these values, 3A we will get 66 plus 4B is 88. So if you understand this property of linear equations, that uh, how do these values increase, you can easily solve this uh, without even calculating for all the totals, but I'll show you. So 66 plus 88, then C plus D will be 23 and then 28 more. So 51, 51 plus, uh, 51 plus, sorry, A is 24. So this is 72. 160, 160 plus 51, that is 211. Okay, that is 30, uh, uh, that will be 39 in increase again. Okay, so next value of C will be 10. And if we put C is equal to 10, this should come as 18 and this should come as 26. So remember this property, if the, uh, if you change one variable by certain number, so every time the difference will be same. Okay, so this will be 30. So you can see the values 30 into 390, 90 plus 104, 194, 194 plus 28, that is 222, 250. So in this case, we will get 250. Okay, so now the number will become more than 250. So this total can be 250, right? This maximum value can be 250. So the minimum value of n will be 0. Okay, so very good uh, concept of uh, uh, linear equations, right? So if you do not uh, know how to find this, you could have skipped this question, you could have attempted this because minimum at least you can find, okay, by putting the values, if not calculating step by step. Now, the next question is, which of the following could be a possible number of customers who drank exactly two of the three brands of beer? So exactly two is, uh, if you solve for this, that is B plus C plus 28. B plus C plus 28, right? So B plus C is 15. 15 plus 28 is 43. Second case, 22 plus 28, that is 50. And we see 50 as one of the options. So that is the answer. What is the difference between the number of customers who drank only Kingfisher and the number of customers who drank only Carlsberg? 
right so only kingfisher is 3b right and only carlsberg is 2a so basically you have to find the difference between 3b and 2a so let us put the values and see that if we can determine or it cannot be determined so 3b minus 2a 3b is uh, basically 36 36 sorry 42 42 minus 2a24 first case it is coming as 18 second case if we put 3b minus 2a so that is th 18 into 3 minus 2 into 18 so again 18 third case 3b is, is coming as 66 and 2a is 48 again we are getting the value as 18 so irrespective of the values of a and b the difference is 18 so we can determine the difference okay so this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions